Hi, this is Jen at Making the Photo. Tired of getting the dreaded invalid link error when trying to use images in your mid-journey prompts? Today you'll learn how to upload images like a pro. I'll show you how to find the perfect image URL, the different types of formats that are supported, and even introduce you to the new drag and drop feature in mid-journey. Text to image generation is great, but sometimes it's just easier to show mid-journey what you want. It's easy, enter a link to an image in your prompt. You can even give Midjourney more than one image inspiration. In version four of Midjourney, your prompt can include one image and text, or two or more images with or without text. If you try to prompt with one image URL without text, you'll get an error. Midjourney doesn't know what to do with your image. If it's just one image, it doesn't know whether to change it or how to change it. Midjourney needs a bit of text to get you started. Even one word, one letter, or a number will give Midjourney somewhere to start. But Midjourney won't take just any image URL, and that's where the dreaded invalid link errors come in. Let's look at which image links work and which ones will flag the error every time. The most surefire way of getting an image URL that works in Midjourney is to drag the image into Discord. Click Enter to load it, and then right-click on the image and copy the link. Paste the link into the image prompt. But what if you don't have the image file? Can you use images from the web in your Midjourney image prompts? The answer is yes, but not all image links will work. If you find an image online that you'd like to see as part of a Midjourney prompt, right click on the image and copy the image link or copy the image address. Notice the image address ends in JPG, indicating that this is a JPEG image file. This URL will work fine in your image prompt. Midjourney itself makes PNG image files, so PNG images will work very well in your prompt. Midjourney also takes WEBP files. Even if you're on a website like Pinterest, if the URL ends with a JPEG or PNG or another image file suffix, you're good to go. Midjourney lets you use a wide variety of image files in your prompt, but some formats don't work in Midjourney. When you copy a link, look for the image file format. Even though this file on my Google Drive has the suffix name JPEG in it, the link does not, so it won't work in Midjourney. Midjourney will read the image file type even if it isn't noted at the end of the URL. Copy a URL from Facebook and it doesn't have the traditional image suffix like JPEG. Midjourney will still be able to read it though as long as it contains the string JPEG in the URL somewhere. But notice that this Instagram link doesn't include an image file anywhere in the URL. Instagram links won't work in Midjourney because Midjourney doesn't know this is an image. Not all websites let you copy an image URL. If you have some tech background, you can inspect Element and find the image file link embedded in the HTML code. Or you can take a screenshot of the image. On Mac, this is easy. Command Shift 4, then select the image. On PC, use the snipping tool. The image saves to your computer. You can now drag this image into Discord and copy the link. In Midjourney, you can blend two or more images together. Simply add the two image URLs into the prompt and go. No text required. Let's blend these two very different dragons together. And now Midjourney has made blending images even easier with the slash blend command. Gone are the days of copying and pasting image URLs. Now you can simply drag and drop your files directly into the blend prompt. It's that easy. Here are two very different Midjourney images. Let's see what blend will do. Type slash blend into the message bar and drag and drop your images directly into the prompt. Click return when the images are loaded. Two images appear, but you can blend up to five images. If you want to add a third image, click the three plus images and select image three to add an extra image. Click enter when you've loaded all of your images. And here's the final result. The blend mode works with AI images and also photos, though I'll admit not every blend works very well. The results are the same whether you use image URLs using the slash imagine prompt or drag images into the Discord and use the slash blend prompt. Slash blend just saves you a couple of steps. Blending images like this is not exactly the same as style transfer. Style transfer applies a style of one image onto the content of another. Blending creates a completely new image with elements blended from each image. Blended images aren't composites either. 
They are novel images inspired by the shapes and colors of two or more images. It's like if two images had a baby. Using the blend mode, you can inject a pattern into an object or a scene. Or if your variations don't give you what you're looking for, blend two similar AI images together. You don't have control over which elements are kept, but you might just get what you're looking for. So grab your favorite images and blend them like a pro. You can create some seriously mind-blowing art. Share how you use blend mode to create unique images in the comments below. If this video is helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.